grabbed by the ghoulies, Behave, was developed by Rare and published by Microsoft Studios exclusively for the Xbox in 2003. And before we get started in this review, let's have a listen to that title screen. One of the best ever. The story starts off with Cooper, our hero of the story, and his girlfriend Amber, who have gotten lost in a storm. They notice a creepy looking mansion and decide it's a good idea to seek shelter inside from the storm. But just like any horror movie ever, you know this is a bad idea. Once inside, Amber is quickly captured and Cooper is besieged by ghoulies. After Cooper swiftly deals with them, he's off to rescue Amber. And this is the driving force behind the plot. Cooper has to fight through an entire mansion full of ghouls to rescue his girlfriend. The villain behind this action and our main antagonist of the game is Baron Von Gaul, a man who is into planes and wearing some sweet pyjamas. I never realised he wore Banjo-Kazooie pyjamas until I started writing the script for this review. I mean, they're truly awesome. Thankfully, you're not alone. There's a few helpful residents of the mansion who aid you in different ways. There's Crivens, Mass Soup's Will, and her friend Mr. Ribs, Fiddlesworth, and Barbara Buffbrass. Crivens, the mansion's butler, is the first ally you're introduced to. He gives you tutorials on controls. Later on, he will be on hand to give you tips about the requirements to complete challenges and useful tips on all the different ghoulies you have to face. Ma Soups Will is the chef in the mansion and she has a great range of soup tin power-ups scattered around for you to use. These are in the forms of buffs and debuffs. Examples of these are one-hit kills, freezing ghoulies on the spot and unbreakable items. Debuffs can range from knocking you down to one health or slowing you down with a crawl. These have a little ghost icons above them so avoid them at all costs. Fiddlesworth is the groundskeeper of the mansion and is your stereotypical farmer looking guy. He helps Cooper out by giving him different weapons in certain stages of the game. The super soaker burns zombies with holy water and old Edna fires garlic cloves, which were especially needed during the zombie chicken stages. Barbara is the cleaner who gives you a pretty sweet soda can launcher, but apart from that I just remember her sounding cranky all the time. The combat in the game consists of using items around the mansion. These range from chairs, bottles, barrels, pool cues, it really depends on the room you're in at the time. These items do break after a few uses so it's important not to waste them. The combat controls of this game have always stood out to me. The attack button is actually the right thumbstick. You aim the thumbstick in the direction you want to attack. It's a unique mechanic and one I haven't seen used in any other game. There is a fantastic range of different ghoulies in the game. Imps, ninja imps, fire imps, flying imps, I think I've said imps enough times, skeletons, zombies, mummies, zombie pirates, vampire chickens, haunted doors, I mean it's a fantastic variety. You'll come across a chair you want to use, but ha, joke's on you, it's actually an enemy. Haunted TVs are another item slash enemy in the game, but these spawn ghoulies, so deal with them first. Each ghoulie has a unique personality, and even their sound effects make me smile. For instance, the ninja imps sound like this. It's so cliche. It's an awesome little touch, and this game is full of them. The terminator of the game is the Grim Reaper. Yes, Death himself appears in the game, and just like Arnie, he will be relentlessly pursuing you. When Grimmy appears, you want to put as much distance between you and him as possible, because if he touches you, it's game over, and you'll have to retry the room from the beginning. But it's not just you who's in trouble when he shows up. You see, he can also defeat enemies by touching them, which means if they're in his way as he's coming after you, this gives you a little bit of leeway to get some distance. But like any other ghoulie, he's not completely unstoppable and can be knocked down. There's also instances in the game when ghoulies will attack each other. You'll find a range of different ghoulies who aren't completely happy with their fellow chums, 
and this is another gameplay mechanic that can be used to your advantage. Each room in the mansion is different and offers unique challenges that need to be completed in order to progress to the next. You may come across the same room more than once, but don't be fooled, the challenge has changed. And it's not only the ghoulies who are out to get you. There's ghosts and other haunted creatures who can give Cooper a fright, and if you're not quick enough on the old bottom prompt screen, Cooper can be left with decreased health. There's also scares that happen in set places, and if you aren't quick enough to get away from the radius of the scare, Cooper becomes frightened and remains that way for a few seconds, leaving him vulnerable to an attack. In terms of collectibles in the game, there are bonus books scattered throughout each stage. Collect 5 of these bonus books and you're awarded a bonus challenge. There's 20 in total and if you can get gold or platinum in all of them, you unlock a special 21st challenge that means you can play the whole game again as Amber. By the way, Amber isn't the only person captured by the Baron. As you play the game, you'll encounter other captives who can only be freed by a key that the Baron possesses. Once he's defeated, Mr. Ribs aids you in freeing these captives. You want a time limit, so speed is the key. One extra thing to mention is how Rare aren't shy to show off their previous work. The gaming room is full of pictures of previous games made by the developers. Even Banjo Kazooie's posted up in the kitchen. Playing this was such a fun experience. It was a joy to see how lighthearted and silly everything was. We need more games like this in today's market. This is my first review video like ever, so if you guys enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>